we're up in the higher elevations of the garden, just barely above bobcat rocks. And uh, the plant behind me is sugar bush, Ruse ovata. There's two closely related species, Ruse ovata and Ruse integrifolia. Ruse ovata, sugar bush, and uh, we'll also be talking uh, in a separate video about Ruse integrifolia lemonade berry. Sugar bush, however, uh, is the one that's more prevalent um, in inland areas like ours. This is a tough plant. Both of them are really very tough plants. They get by, uh, obviously, on, on very little water. Um, they, uh, uh, another common feature is their size. These are large shrubs that can get to almost tree-like proportions. Uh, some of the differences, however, uh, Sugar bush has much darker green leaves. Uh, they're somewhat glossier. They're typically folded along the midrib, um, some to a lesser or greater extent, just depending upon uh, the individual plant. Sometimes they're folded almost completely like a taco. Um, they're very colorful plants, uh, and they look great year-round. They're, they're evergreen shrubs. Uh, uh, they both have very thick, leathery leaves. And um, by late fall, the flower buds are starting to uh, uh, be produced on the sugar bush and the, uh, these little spikes, um, before the flowers open, the, uh, the bracts turn red. So you have this really pretty red and green combination. Um, both plants, uh, the, the ruse genus, is in the sumac family. Uh, so some people are sensitive to the oils that are in the leaves. Um, but uh, this is uh, just a, a very useful foundation plant in the garden, uh, fairly adaptable as far as soil requirements, extremely drought tolerant, and a plant that looks great year-round.